Hey guys, this is James from Textbook Talks and I'm here today to show you the new Android O operating system. I've got it running here on my Google Pixel C tablet and as you can see there is a little bit of difference. So as you can see at the bottom here, um, the buttons are different. They are now the standard Pixel icons. Yes this was done in Android 7.1.2 beta but this is also apparent in the Android O as well. and. As you can see as well, it's in a slightly different place. Let me show you a reason why for that. I'm just going to go into the settings on the device. And I've already enabled the system UI tuner, but as you can see the settings already, that's a little bit different. I will go into that in a second. As you can see, system UI tuner there. And as you can see there's a couple of more options. You now have lock screen and you have navigation bar. Navigation bar. Layout. You can see you've got your normal, which does that. Your compact, which is why I had it on. You have your left leaning, so if you're a bit more left handed, that is great for that. And then you've also got the right leaning option as well, if you fancy using your right thumb as well. I'm just going to go back to compact because that's how I liked it. You've also got extra buttons there. Um, you've got clipboard, key card, keyboard switcher. That's the same for the right button as well. Lock screen you can now change shortcuts on the lock screen so you can have, as you can see I've got placed on the left shortcut and settings on the right but you can set literally any oh, any app to do that as you can see I've got quite quite a few apps on there already some games and things like that but I'm just going to go back to the play store there and you can also set it to if it unlocks it or not so that's a very cool addition back to the settings though as you can see, it's now white theme. This is interesting. As it may hamper battery life on AMOLED devices, as we all know, a black screen on an AMOLED device means it doesn't use any power. Then let's just go through and see what we've got here. You've got your network and internet settings there. Your connected devices, so that's got your Bluetooth, your casting and your printing. And USB as well, that's new. Apps and notifications have their own area as well now, which is quite cool. So you can see how many apps you've got installed, app notifications, which ones are allowed to send. You've got your app permissions as well, which is being brought over. Your default apps and notifications. You've also got special access there as well. And as you can see, you've got things like your picture in picture, which is brand new to us. And at the moment, Google Play services and YouTube. You've also got premium SMS access, and that is for your messaging applications there as well. But beaten tablet, this doesn't have it. Let's just go back. You've got your display, and as you can see now, you've got advanced. This is new, I've not seen before on any Android operating system before. It's basically an expanse, so it's just hidden it a little bit more. So things that you might not really need to change, but I have been digging around in it. Got a font size. Now we have a preview on tablet, which I think is quite cool. you got large. And you got largest as well, and I like the fact that you can see what you've got there. But I'm going to stick to default. You've also got device theme. So you've got inverted. But this will require a restart, so I'm not going to go through that just yet. Your sound, which is pretty much normal, and again you've got your advanced, which is just all the little extras there. Storage is new as well, so now smart storage is built into it. I like the fact that you've got a little percentage area in the top right there, and it doesn't take that long to load up the actual storages. That's pretty amazing. You've also got the option to free up space there, and it just scans everything. Security and screen lock, not much to change here. You've got the security patch level there, which just basically tells you to are you up to date on your on your tablet or device everything else in there is pretty much the same. User and accounts, all in one place which is quite cool. You can change your users, you can add your accounts, add users straight from lock screen as well. Accessibility, really much to talk about there, you've still got the high contrast text, you've also got mono audio, accessibility shortcuts, you got your colour inversion there, colour correction for people who may have colour blindness. You've got your system, which is new, but you've got your backup there, 
which now has the backup to Google Drive, you've got your backup account, and your system UI tuner there again. Uh, developer options, let's just take a little look through here, see what we've got. Anything new, you got your picture column over, which is there before. Quick settings developer tiles, that looks to be new. Anything else? Let's have a look. Ah, the Bluetooth audio LDAC. As you know, Sony have provided some extra bits for the Bluetooth audio to make it a lot better. And the fact that you can actually change the actual bitrate, that's pretty cool. I've got show tabs there. Uh, your animation scales. It looks like a lot of this is still the same. Oh, memory, you've got that there now, so they've taken that away from the storage area, which I think for a lot of people would have been quite confusing. Not many people would have known what that meant. So it's nice to see that's only in there for the developer options there. You've also got your Google stuff and you've got the support section, which is quite cool. So that's still there. So back to the main screen. Um, as you can see, it is the Pixel Launcher. So that's all there. Uh, same as we've seen on the phone and on Android 7.1.2 beta for the Pixel C tablet. And as you can see in the top right over here, there, you can see that the battery percentage has changed. And if we slide down, you've also got things like that as well. And another feature which I think is going to be really cool. Slide in. You've still got your hands there, but you've got a snooze. How awesome is that? Absolutely brilliant. I just think that is absolutely fantastic. And that does work on persistent notifications as well. So that's a basic tool around the Android O operating system. Let us know what you think in the, in the comments. Let us know what you think Android O is going to be as well. Um, we think it might well be Oreo since so Lock Heimer decided to tweet a picture of an Oreo. But he's done things like that before in the past, and that's not come through. So, yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know if you want to see anything else with the new Android o operating system. I will be keeping it on my Pixel C tablets. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you, and goodbye.